hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i will be showing you guys how to make this simple um, airport case this is the simple one and i try to make this one into the minion and um, you don't have you don't have to take it off to charge it because there is a hole on the bottom so you can charge it you can plug the charger without removing it so this is how it is it's uh, very simple and very easy the only uh, stitches i have used in this one is single crochets and chains the yarn i'm going to use is this one it's a lise yarn sorry it's a gift from pakistan so that's why it says pakistan and uh, it's a hundred gram of the the ball of the yarn into and into the hundred gram there is 460 meters of the yarn and i'm going to use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and you are going to use this yarn in you're going to need in blue yellow uh, black white and gray so let's get started this our starting point is right here here so to start our uh, case what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to of course i'm going to make a slip knot like that and then i'm going to make 10 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now i'm going to skip first chain and into the second chain i'm going to make three single crochets one two three and then i'm going to make one single crochet into next two chains one single crochet into the next and then one single crochet into next chain now i am going to make chain three one two three i am going to skip next three chains one two three and into the fourth one i am going to make one single crochet and then one single crochet one single crochet into next chain which is this one and then i'm going to make three single crochets into the last chain one two we worked from here to here we worked clockwise now we are going to turn our work at 90 degree and now we will work anti-clockwise so this is our next available chain we where we have already made one single crochet when we were working on in this direction so for, uh, we will make one single crochet into first available chain and one single crochet into the next chain now we are going to make one single crochet into these three chains we skipped when we were working into this direction so i'm going to make one single crochet into those skipped three chains one two and three now i'm going to make one single crochet into next two chains into this one and into this one one single crochet and one single crochet again 
now what I'm going to do now is that I'm not going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I will just simply make one single crochet into the first first single crochet from this round I have a bit slippery hands right now so like that I'm going to make one single crochet into next six single crochets three four five and six and these are the chain three we did um, in the last round I'm going to make one single crochet into those three chains one two and three and then I am going to simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet. Just like that. And again we are almost at the end of this round so we are not going to join we are not going to slip stitch this is the round we are going to repeat um, by making simply one single crochet in every single crochet for a couple of rounds until you get the desired uh, uh, length of the blue part of the cover because it's going to be a minion cover so uh, the bottom sh should be uh, blue so i will continue making one single crochet in all single crochets until i get my desired length so i have repeated the pattern which is that i made a one single crochet in every single crochet for a couple of round and right now the length of this blue part is approximately two centimeter and the length of this is from here from this brim to the bottom is approximately five centimeter so now how I'm going to change the color what I'm going to do because we are not slip stitching at the end of every round so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply this is the next available single crochet so I'm going to slip stitch into that like that and then I'm going to cut the yarn and then I'm going to pull it snug that's it now you can join yellow color You can join the yellow color anywhere you want to I'm going to join here and then make chain one and simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet Here is where we did our slip stitch don't forget to make a single crochet into that and then simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet to the end.
now we are not going to slip stitch into first single crochet we are going to simply continue by making one single crochet in each and every stitch you continue making one single crochet in every single crochet until you get these uh, this length the length you want from bottom to this uh, part to the brim of this part mm, this lid is not included we are going to make uh, we are going to repeat the pattern until we get the length which was approximately five centimeter so we will continue the pattern until we get five centimeter of total length of the body there is just one thing i i forgot to mention that just simply place a stitch marker where you started so you know that when you are going to end the these round when you are going to cut off the yarn then you have to it has to be parallel to this uh, um, upwards you are going to upwards equally and then you are going to cut the yarn when you are here if you cut the yarn when you are here then maybe it will be uneven because if you can see there are three rounds on this side and two rounds on this side so you have to it has to be equal numbers of round all the way around so i have just placed a stitch marker so i can remember when i reach here when i'm going to cut the yarn when i'm going to finish the body i have to be it has to be parallel to this point it has to be 90 degree of this point so i think i got the desired length of the body i wanted and as i said but still we are going to try that uh, if this is the we got the desired length so we are going to insert our air part into this it's uh, if it's a little bit tight if it's a little bit snug it's so it's okay because the yarn is always stretchy so it opens up a little bit later on so if it's a little bit tight and if it's a difficult to to put it on first time it's okay it's normal if it's too loose it will get too bigger later on and and maybe it will not fit the air part so we are just just going to check if it fits and it does so not now what we are going to do is as i said earlier that where i placed my stitch marker i'm going to uh, 90 degrees upward and then I'm going to slip stitch into next single crochet and then I'm going to cut the yarn and pull it so now we are going to work on this uh, part which is the cap or the lid of the um, case for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply make 10 first I'm going first of all I'm going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to make 10 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and then into the second chain which is this one This is the second chain from the hook into that I'm going to make three single crochets one two and three and then I'm going to make one single crochet into next seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven and then into the last last chain which is this one i'm going to make three single crochets one two three and then again i'm going to turn my work 90 degree and i'm going to make anti-clockwise on the other side of the chains so this is our first available chain this one i'm going to make one single crochet into that 
and then one single crochet in each and every chain in the end you should end up with 21 single crochets because we made three single crochets on both corners and then there were seven single crochets in between like that now we are at the end what i'm going to do is this is our first single crochet so i'm going to make i'm not going to join i'm not going to slip stitch i'm going to make simply one single crochet into that and that's it i'm going to repeat this pattern by making one single crochet in each and every single crochet until i get the length of this part which is the lid part or cap or whatever you can call it until i reach uh, until i achieve that and i will continue making one single crochet in each and every single crochet so i think i got the length of the lid i wanted i will still compare with the uh, lid of the other one i have already made to just to be sure that the length is the same now what i'm going to do is i have placed the stitch marker so that i can i can finish my round by going upwards 90 degrees so i'm going to slip stitch into the next single crochet like that and then I'm going to cut the yarn so now what I have to do is that I have to join this cap with this uh, body but so I thought maybe I should make the eye and the band of the eye which is supposed to be the um, glasses of the minion for that i will continue making basic chains until i get the length uh, of the band equally to the body so i think i will make one two three four five I have made 25 chains and now I will check if it fits here and it fits almost perfectly so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be carefully that I don't twist the chains so I'm going to join into our first chain which is this one like that and then I will cut the yarn and then I will make knot here so that it doesn't unravel one two and maybe one more <clears throat> and then I will cut the both ends of the yarn like that so our band is almost ready so now what we are going to do is we are going to work on our eye so for that it's it's not easy because it's not much bigger so making a little tiny eye is also a challenge but i'll try what you're going to do is make chain two one and two and then into the first chain i'm going to make five 
five single crochets so i am going to make five single crochets into first chain and into the first single crochet I am going to slip stitch like that and then I will cut the yarn and pull it snug like that Then I will make a knot to secure it and now I will join my white uh, yarn you can join it anywhere so I will join here and then I will make chain one chain one does not count as our first single crochet so I will make two single crochet into this single crochet and then I will make <coughs> one single uh, sorry two single crochet in each and every single crochet to the end my hands are sweating and I have applied hand cream on my hands and the yarn is tiny the crochet hook is tiny and and uh, I just have had coffee so my coffee so my hands are shivering so that's why it's it's a little bit difficult to work right now for me but I'm trying my best and then to the single crochet into the next and then two single crochet into the last single crochet like that you should end up with 10 single crochets at the end of this round and then I am going to join and then I am going to join on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn And now I will join my gray yarn you can join it anywhere and then chain one and make one single crochet in each and every single crochet Like that I will make rest of the uh, round off camera because the video is already getting uh, lengthy so I will simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet and then I will join at, uh, at the top of our first single crochet so now I am going to insert this ring onto the body And I will do rest of the process off camera I will join I will sew 
with the uh, with the thread instead of the yarn because because it will give a little bit better finishing look and then I will place the eye here and then I will sew it uh, and then I will resume the video so this is how it looks like right now so not now what we are going to do is that we are going to join the cap on to the body for that what we are going to do is that we are going to first of all we need to know the half the central or the corner of the both sides so this is the corner on this side so i'm going to place a stitch marker here and a stitch marker on the other corner here and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to fold the cap and place it over it and then this is the central this is the central stitch or the corner of this side so what I'm going to do I'm going to skip that and then I will this is the next available stitch this is the central stitch I will call it and this is the stitch after that so I'm going to join into the back loop and then the stitch after the stitch marker is after the stitch marker is this one so I'm going to join into the front loop of the next stitch grab my yarn chain one and then I will join simply by making single crochet through the uh, back loop of the cap and front loop of the body and then I will make single crochet and then into the next back pull, uh, back loop of the cap and front loop of the body like just like that keep joining keep joining until you will your last single crochet should be the stitch before the stitch marker so this is going to be our last joining single crochet back loop of the lid and front loop of the body and then I will make a single crochet and that's it now I will cut the yarn and I will weave in the ends and that's it and then your case is ready and I have cut the extra yarn and I have weaved the end and our case is almost ready now we are going to try it on and fingers are crossed <laughs> that it, it it fits perfectly hopefully and it looks also good hopefully and that's it so this is how it looks like right now it's not perfect because it was so tiny and making the eye and all that and attaching that was also a struggle but I tried my best so this is how it looks like right now if you don't like making it in a minion or um, anything else you can just simply make it in one color like I made this one simply in one color 
or in multiple color or anything like that so this is how it is hopefully you guys liked it if there is anything confusion uh, if, if there is anything confusing uh, you guys can ask me and i can help you all thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all